You like this park, don't you, Ryuki? I feel calm when I'm around nature. It's like I can feel the buzz inside me quieting down. Tama, what do you think about what Tokiko said earlier? Is something like teleportation really possible? Uh, hey, come on. I told you the Philadelphia experiment is just an urban legend. How else can you explain what happened with Jin? We can't deny that his right half suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Jeez. Oh, then why don't we find out for ourselves? What do you mean? You want to go to the studio right now? No need. Just close your eyes. My eyes? Just do it! Uh, okay. What the? Did we teleport here? Are you serious? We're in Studio Devita, aren't we? It just seems that way. We're not actually there. Last night, I scanned every nook and cranny of the scene. What you're looking at now is what I replicated using that data. Wow. It's like I'm actually there. The corpse looks so real. Want me to put a mosaic over it? Uncensored is fine. Now, less digressing and more investigating. Your objective is to solve the mystery behind the sudden appearance of Jin's right half. All right, let's start looking around. switch to x-ray mode too that's because i've gathered all data from the scene Something inside the body. Hmm. Three things catch my attention. First, a mixture of potassium chlorate, sulfur, and red phosphorus. This is probably a fire starter. It would ignite very easily. The fuse is coiled up and extends from there. By the way, the fuse includes an oxidizing agent, so it can continue to burn even inside the body. And finally... At the end of the fuse is a powder mixture of iron oxide and aluminum. This is a substance that causes a thermite reaction. When ignited, it creates heat of over 3,000 degrees Celsius and burns violently. <laughs> 